We begin with the latest updates coming in as the Israel Hamas truce was extended by another day. Two gunmen opened fire at civilians near a bus stand in Jerusalem where three people have died in the attack while six others are injured. Israeli police said that the two suspected attackers were killed on the spot. Now, according to the Israeli police, the terrorists arrived in a car at Givat Shal intersection in Jerusalem and opened fire on civilians near the bus stop using a pistol and an M16 rifle. Now, these two soldiers and a civilian who were in the area shot at the attackers, neutralizing them instantly. Three people died in the attack, while six others have been seriously injured. Now, emergency services have rushed to the scene of the crime, along with security forces to seal off the entire area, which was crowded with morning commuters. Police said that they were searching the area to make sure that there were no other attackers. According to the Jerusalem Police District Commander, the attackers came from East Jerusalem. The brothers were closely associated with Hamas and previously served prison terms for involvement in terrorist activities. Now, the terror attack in the heart of Jerusalem came shortly after a truce pausing fighting in the Gaza Strip between Hamas and Israel was extended for a seventh day, moments before it was due to expire. Now, Israel National Security Minister Ben Kavir also visited the site of the shooting and offered his condolences to the families of the victims. Now for more on this, joining us live right now is our correspondent Jody Cohen from the Sheba Medical Center. Now uh, Jody, after Israel and Hamas extended its truce by a day, a deadly attack stuck the heart of Jerusalem. Now give us a sense of the situation on the ground at the moment. Hi, Aditi. So, yes, as you said, at the very last minute, this ceasefire was extended by a day first thing this morning. And then we heard about a shooting attack that took place at the entrance to Jerusalem. Now, I was there almost exactly a year ago to the day when another shooting attack took place there. And from being there, I can just tell you it's a, it's a huge area, many rows of traffic and many, many people waiting at that particular bus stop in rush hour traffic, which is when today's attack also occurred. As you said, it was carried out by two brothers. They're both Hamas members and they've both been, they both spent time in Israeli prisons for terror offensive. We know that they were carrying a huge amount of ammunition Three people have been killed and six people are being treated in hospital for their injuries. Now, it really does call into question what will happen with this ceasefire, whether or not they'll, be, they'll negotiate another day's pause. We know that Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in Israel today. This is his fourth visit to Israel since the 7th of October massacre by Hamas. He's just met with President Herzog. They've made statements referring to the shooting this morning. Um, and it remains to be seen whether or not you know, Qatar have been leading the negotiations. It remains to be seen whether or not this ceasefire will now be extended. The IDF, the Israel Defense Forces, have also been saying over the past couple of days that they've been thwarting attempted terror attacks in the West Bank and that their troops have come under fire in northern Gaza. So it remains to be seen what's going to happen. We, Israel had said that for every 10 hostages released, they would agree to a day's pause in fighting and to release 30 Palestinian prisoners, women and teenagers who've all been um, in prison for terror offences. So we just have to wait and see now what's going to happen with whether or not it will extend by another day. And Judy, Israel's uh, Ben Kavir, according to reports, also visited the scene where the shooting has happened. What is being said about the security of the city now? Right, so he went to the scene of the attack and he commented on the importance of people with firearms carrying them for um, the ability to, to stop terror offences happening. So with these two Hamas members who carried out the shooting attack in Jerusalem today, one of them was shot by an Israeli soldier who happened to be at the bus stop with his firearm. He was returning to base and just happened to be there at that time. And the other one was a civilian who, was, who had a license for a firearm, was fully trained to carry them. And Ben Gavir is very much advocating for giving uh, firearm licenses to people who have had specialized training to ensure the protection of people on the ground because as we know a terror attack could happen in any place and that at, at any time and he is urging people to carry their firearms so that they can be prepared. 
Thank you, Jody, for joining in for the, with all those updates. That was a correspondent, Jody, giving us a live updates on the shooting attack in Jerusalem.